Hello, I'm Pamela Childers, and I work at Santa Fe College as an outreach specialist, and I help run a program called Spectrum of Success, and it is a program that's geared for college students on the autism spectrum. I have a 26-year-old daughter named Sarah, and she's had some medical issues. She was born plan C-section due to failure to descend because the cord was wrapped around her neck and shoulder, so she never dropped. She wasn't breathing when she was born, and they had to bag her. Uh, she had a lot of other medical issues as well. So she had a very poor prognosis. And then at 24 months, she was also diagnosed with autism. And the psychologist said, your daughter is incapable of ever loving you or anyone. All you'll ever be to her is advice. She told me she'd never graduate high school. You need to consider putting her in an institution. And she told me a lot of, a lot of hard things to hear as a mom. So at 24 months of age, we started with a lot of therapies. She got speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, social therapy. Our life was therapy, 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 and more therapy for several years. And the therapists were awesome in teaching me how to better help my daughter, because I'm the one who's with her really all day. I homeschooled Sarah for most of her life because I couldn't find a school to meet her needs. I felt it was very important that she was in a positive environment surrounded by people who understood her. And so since I couldn't find it, I homeschooled her. And we also did dolphin whale rescue and rehab. And that was an amazing thing. My daughter just loved that. And we were very blessed to have found Dr. Ruth Ewing. And she took my daughter under her wing. She mentored my daughter. And even though my daughter was just nine years old, she allowed her to perform necropsies with her. And she taught her a lot. And that's when my daughter became passionate about being a veterinary pathologist. So Sarah started college at Florida State College at Jacksonville. And she struggled. She struggled in chemistry. She took her first chemistry class and she failed. And the academic advisor advised that she needed to change her career path, that there would be a lot of chemistry classes involved if she wanted to ultimately be a veterinarian. My daughter, because she thinks outside the box and she figures things out, she said, no, I want my mom to teach me. She needs to come to class with me. She knows how I learn. So I thought, I don't know if I can do that. But I told her I'd try. So I went to college with her. We took the chemistry class. We both made A's. And we went on to take nine different chemistry classes and she was voted by the students as the number one chemistry tutor. She went on to help countless struggling students with their chemistry. She was amazing, and so she is amazing. And we graduated together with a Bachelor in Biomedical Sciences degree. So fast forward to today, and my daughter applied to veterinary school at University of Florida to become a doctor of veterinary medicine and she didn't get in the first time she applied. She applied a second time. She got on the alternate list. She comes running up the stairs. Mommy, 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 mommy! And I thought she was having a panic attack. She hands me the phone and there was nobody there. We called back the number and Lynette on the other line, she said, she told me that Sarah was accepted into veterinary school. And I said, is this a prank? because we just couldn't believe it, and it was really awesome. My daughter was so excited, she ended up hanging up on, on them, and from there, uh, it's the big joke around the college now <laughs> that she hung up. It was the first time that anybody's hung up on them when they were accepted, but. So I'm very, very grateful, and I'm grateful, very grateful to Dr. Sasser for caring so much about people on the autism spectrum and for taking the initiative to start the Spectrum of Success program and that he truly cares, and I think that we are already making a difference. So Sarah's dream has always been to become a veterinarian, and now she's living that dream. She says going to school every day is, is better than going to Disney World. We're making a difference, one by one. Mom, thank you. Thank you isn't enough. I love you, and that still isn't even enough. 
I don't know what I'd do without you.